cows eligible for FIV or in vitro fertilization. FIV or in vitro fertilization is a reproductive technique mainly used in cows that for various reasons cannot leave descendants through conventional reproductive techniques. FIV is an assisted reproduction technique that allows the cattle farmer to develop an embryo from the union of an ovum with a spermatozoa in special laboratory media that mimic the physiological conditions of fertilization. FIV is mainly used in cows that for various reasons cannot leave descendants through conventional reproductive techniques. But which cows are candidates for FIV or in vitro fertilization? Cows that are resistant to superstimulatory treatments, cows that do not produce transferable embryos, cows with anatomical alterations that prevent correct fertilization or implantation of the embryo terminal cows, cows or heifers in the first third of gestation cows in the puperium, which is the period of time that the complete recovery of the reproductive system lasts after giving birth, usually lasting between five and six weeks. It is important to note that the FIV technique also allows for better use of semen as minimal doses can fertilize several oocytes. The methodology for performing FIV includes ovarian stimulation, to obtain multiple oocytes collection and preparation of oocytes. Oocytes are collected and prepared for fertilization sperm preparation. The sperm is prepared for fertilization, fertilization and culture. The oocytes are fertilized in the laboratory and the embryos are cultured. Embryo transfer. The embryos are transferred to the uterus of a recipient cow pregnancy diagnosis. After a certain period of time, a pregnancy diagnosis is performed to confirm the success of the FIV. Treatment of superhormonal stimulation. Cows are super stimulated hormonally, a treatment that allows the growth of several follicles, which contain the ova. Transvaginal ovarian puncture. The follicles are located and punctured with the guidance of a transvaginal ultrasound, which contains a needle attached to a vacuum pump, which allows the aspiration of the follicular fluid and the ovum. Search for ova. The aspirated fluid is poured into a petri dish, and the search for the ova is carried out under a microscope. Ovarian maturation. The recovered ova are matured in a special medium for 22 hours in a culture oven which has 5% CO2 in air and 38 degrees Celsius of temperature. In vitro fertilization, to carry out the in vitro fertilization properly, the semen must go through a selection and training process, which allows it to fertilize the ovum successfully. The stages of IVF or in vitro fertilization consist of thawing of the bull's straw assigned, sowing of the spermatozoa in the column of a pecal gradient, a medium that allows the separation of live spermatozoa from those that are not. Measurement of the volume in which the spermatozoa are found. Calculation of the sperm concentration. Dilution of the semen to a fertilization concentration of 1.5 million spermatozoa per milliliter. The treatment of superhormonal stimulation. Cows are super stimulated hormonally a treatment that allows the growth of several follicles, which contain neocytes. Puncturing ovary transvaginal. The follicles are located and punctured with the guide of a transvaginal ultrasound, which contains a needle attached to a vacuum pump, which allows to aspirate the follicular fluid. And the oocyte. The site search. The aspirated fluid is poured into a petri dish and the search for oocytes under a microscope is performed. Ovarian maturation. The recovered oocytes are put to mature in a special medium for 22 hours in a culture oven, which has 5% CO2 in air and 38 degrees Celsius temperature. In vitro fertilization, to carry out the in vitro fertilization itself, the semen must go through a selection and capacitation process, which allows it to fertilize the oocytes successfully. The stages of IVF or in vitro fertilization consist of Thawing of the bull's straw assigned. Sowing of the spermatozoa in the column of a pecal gradient, medium that allows to separate the living spermatozoa from those that are not. Measurement of the volume in which the spermatozoa are found. Calculation of the spermatic concentration. 
Dilution of the semen to a fertilization concentration of 1.5 million spermatozoa per milliliter. Once the fertilization concentration is adequate, the in vitro fertilization itself is carried out, which involves bringing the spermatozoa and the oocytes together in a drop of a specific medium, and taking them to a culture oven containing 5% CO2 in air at 38 degrees Celsius for 18 to 20 hours. In vitro culture, after 18 to 20 hours, Necessary for the spermatozoon to fertilize the oocyte, the oocytes are denuded, which consists of stripping the granulosa cells, which surround it as if it were a crown. In this way, the fertilized oocyte, in the specific medium, is taken to an oven whose main characteristic is the low percentage of oxygen in its environment, thus initiating the stage called culture, in which for six to seven days cell division will take place, until reaching the stage of morula or Blastocyte, an evolution that we call embryonic development. Embryonic transfer, the embryos. Obtained in vitro are transferred to receptive females who are hormonally synchronized for the reception of the embryo. Diagnostic ultrasound, at three weeks after the embryonic transfer, the first ultrasound is performed to confirm pregnancy, which is reconfirmed at 60 days of gestation.